We can't cancel student debt. That'd be unfair to people who've already paid it off. Can't vaccinate against COVID. That'd be unfair to everyone who already got it. We can't pay reparations. That'd be unfair to people who already built their wealth off of stolen money. We can't fight climate change. That'd be unfair to the polar bears who already melted. We can't end world hunger. That'd be unfair to people who already starved to death. We can't stop Voldemort. That'd be unfair to everyone he avada kedavra Man, I gotta say, I love this Jeriaki video about the absurdity of the argument that we shouldn't end student loan debt because other people have paid their loans off. Like, we understand that student loan debt is just a stupid way for people to have to pay for college. It's unjust, it makes no sense, um, and it's ridiculous. And ending this immoral practice um, would be a boon to everybody. The argument that you shouldn't do something that's right because other people have already been screwed over by it is ridiculous. I especially like her world hunger, uh, you know, her world hunger example because yeah, like obviously this is the obvious right thing to do and should, we should be going about it full force with doing it. And you know, besides all of that, there's other reasons why it, it's, it makes absolute sense that we would do this. To me, the, the easiest argument as to why we should end this practice and forgive student loan debt across the board is that the debt is owed to the American federal government, AKA the richest, most powerful entity in the history of the world. Let me say that again for you. The richest and most powerful entity in the history of the world. The idea that the government should be profiting from student loans, from people who want to put themselves through college to become better citizens, because citizens that are contributing to the quality of the country, that we should be taxing them for the right to do so is absurd. I'm sorry, if somebody went to dinner with Jeff Bezos, and he didn't pay while they worked at, I don't know, Walmart? It's ridiculous. You would say that is absurd. I'm not splitting this bill. I'm not sending you a Venmo, Jeff Bezos. You have a yacht that costs a trillion dollars. I don't have to send you no money. And so to me, the, the, the idea that the federal government would be handing out loans with interest to students who want to better themselves and their lives and our country is just equally as morally bankrupt and absurd. It makes no sense. And this idea of, you know, uh, this bootstrapping concept, this idea to like raise yourself up, pick yourself up by your bootstraps. You made this responsibility. You should have to pay for it. It's especially coming from the government that bailed out Wall Street for fraud and reckless behavior. Nobody said, hey, Wall Street, why don't you pick yourself up by the bootstrap? Why don't you just fail? Why don't you just die? You made these decisions. Nobody put a gun to your head. Just die. This is the same government that saved those people from the yokes of their own mistakes. So the idea that the federal government would tell students who are literally putting themselves to through school to become better citizens, to become doctors, to become lawyers, to become, you know, all nurses, all of these people that make our society better. The idea that we'd be taxing them for it is absurd.